A large explosion erupted and the breach was sealed. The Beacon team celebrated, but the Mandalorians were not. The Mandalorians stopped outside the smoke only to be greeted by a sad sight. Garen walks out cradling a badly wounded John. The Beacon students suddenly broke out of their cheering. Team PNR, RWBY, and CFBY runs toward Garen. Jaster, we must bring him to one of our tribe. Django, the only nearby tribe is the Children of the Watch. Ruby, how did he get hurt so bad? Jaster, he never told you? We Mandalorians never use our aura. Weiss, what a noun's name were you all thinking? Garen, we can discuss that when we reach the tribe, let's move. Bo glares at the Atlassian ship. This was not over by a long shot. Later at the village of Navarro. Garen, take me to your healer. The man leads them to the healing tent. Angela, what happened? Garen, he was caught in an artillery barrage from Atlas. The tribe looks on in surprise. Angela proceeds to mix herbs and liquids. Weiss, what is she doing? Why don't you have any modern medicine? Angela, we don't believe in chemicals. We rather rely on natural healing and herbal mixtures, so forgive us if we're not to your standards. Why shuts up from that tangent? Angela, IG-11 lend me some Bacta as well. A few hours later, Angela, he will mend in about 24 hours, maybe even less, if he sleeps through it. Garen then suddenly receives a call from Oshpin. Oshpin, Garen is John with you, if he is I need a report. Garen, can you tell your retard general of yours he inadvertently just declared war in all of Mandalore? Oshpin, what happened? Garen, he ordered an artillery strike on my grandson. Oshpin, I'll have a meeting with the circle, but we can't begin without John. When can I expect him to be here? Garen, one day, Ironwood better pray if I see him I might can't guarantee his safety. Oshpin, I apologize for this incident, is John alright? Garen, he's out of danger, but we might be seeing the beginning of a war Oshpin. I'm in a Mandalorian village and they heard what happened, and they are outraged. Oshpin, please calm them down old friend a war is the last thing Remnant needs. Garen, you do know I have relinquished my title as Mandalor. Oshpin, I know but please do what you can. Then the call ended. He was then approached by a large Mandalorian. Garen, pause, pause, I heard, I'll try and calm the village down. But can you tell me did Tar spoke to him? Garen, the story spreads fast. Pause, blame cries. But she is right we all have a right to know. Garen pulls out an object. Pause. It is time. Garen, I don't know. But it will be a time to remember. Meanwhile, in the void of space, John woke up only to be greeted once again by Tar. 
Tear. Greeting John, it seems you're in a predicament. John, I was. My family. Lilith. Tear. Do not fear John, everyone is safe. John, okay, but what am I doing here? Tear. There's a great evil approaching remnant and a mandala must rise to face it. It is time. John felt a newfound strength flowing through him. Tar. During my time at the Jedi Temple, I was taught its codes. And to the best of my ability applied some of those codes to our Mandalorian code. But as time passed and wars come and go I saw my people become cold-blooded murderers. But your grandfather and his friends were the first to show the same honor I held. It was so much that it overshadowed the shame of one of my bloodline. John uttered that disgrace of a name Previsla. Tear. I want you to help my current descendant to become the man you are. John, I promise in the name of the Arcadius clan. Tar smiles and asks John to make a new code and he spoke. John, honor is our strength, loyalty our will and love our guide. All of these makes us who we are. Family honor and duty. This is the way. Tar nods and continues to teach John of the Force. Meanwhile, Oblek was chatting with Garen about Mandalorian history. Blake was speaking with the villagers who are human, faunus and half-breeds. Young was watching and guarding Ruby. Ruby and Weiss watched the local armorer make weapons and armor. Velvet, Pira, and Coco are watching over John. Renora and IG-11 is babysitting Lilith. Yatsuhashi and Fox are training with the other Mandalorians. Sixteen hours passed and John suddenly healed so fast and he sat up. Velvet embraced John. Velvet, you idiot do you know how worried I was? Asterisk sob asterisk. John, I'm sorry Velv. Garen enters and spoke. Garen. John, I have something important to give you. I was told you spoke to the spirit of Tarvisla. John just nods. Garen's finally found the last bit of evidence he needed. Garen, John by the name of Mandela's past, this is yours. Garen hands him the dark saber. John knowing from Tar this means the time for war draws near. John, did Ashpin try to contact me? Garen, yeah he's gonna hold a meeting and he won't start it without you. John, alright let me resupply and get ready. Velvet, John you just recovered. Hira, you should rest. Think about Lilith. Then IG-11 enters carrying Lilith with Ren and Nora following suit. Lilith, Papa. Lilith embraces John and he returned the hug. The rest just cooed at the moment. John had his armor repaired and improved with Ruby drooling over at the side. Jaster and his family decided to stay in Vale and deal with some of the crime there do a little bit of bounty hunting. bo and the Night Owls accompanies Garen in Vale to support security. John and the Beacon students went back to Beacon. 
IG-11 accompanied John. They arrived at the launch pad. They moved through the stairs of the students. It was weird to see a fully armored and armed to the teeth man along with a strange looking robot trailing them. John sees a bickering couple causing a scene, recognizing the man to be an agent of Oshpin, decided to break it up. The two fought until, John, that's enough. John, that's enough. Winter, identify yourself. John, I work for Oshpin, please stand down. Pro, I don't buy it. Winter, enough brand when we already made a scene. John head suddenly turns toward Crow. Crow, you got a problem bub. John suddenly charges Crow. Meanwhile, Weiss, sister, Winter, Weiss, Weiss, what's going on, wait why is John fighting that man, Winter, you know him, Weiss, he's our classmate, Winter, he claims he works for Oshpin, Ruby, yeah he's Oshpin's bounty hunter, Winter, a young man? A bounty hunter. John, your tribe will pay for its crimes especially its leader. Crow, what has Raven done now? The two continue to clash.